What's going on guys? Mass Vigilante 215 here. Uh, just got the DX10 in the mail. Just came a few minutes ago. Uh, I'm going to do a quick review on it. Show you everything that comes with the figure. Um, I haven't seen many videos on YouTube. And um, I might actually be one of the first couple people to get this figure. Which is very rare for me. I'm always the last to get something. So I'll just go ahead and show you guys everything that comes with it. Which is... Uh, apparently a lot of accessories, so let's get right into it. Looking at the box, I think what they were going for here is um, like a leather type look, similar to, I guess, uh, Arnold's jacket that he wears in the movie, because you can see the side here kind of looks like some buttons that you would see on a leather uh, leather jacket. So we'll go ahead and open this up, because I know everyone really wants to see what the head sculpt looks like. Uh, so yeah, let's see what we got here. Okay, inside the box, got some writing here. It says, uh, I know now why you cry, but it's something I can never do. Uh, and then you got T-800 down here. One six scale collectible figure in here. I uh, got some more writing. It looks like something along the lines of what came with the DX. Uh, Luke Skywalker. It's kind of cool. I guess you move that out of the way. See a picture on there. It's kind of cool. Uh, so it says machines who rule the future send an unstoppable Terminator to assassinate the yet unborn John Connor. They failed. The machines will try again. So that's what that says right there, guys. All right, that's the figure. Uh, but I actually just got home from work, didn't even really wash my hands yet, so I don't want to touch this figure too much. Let me see if I can get a good shot of that head sculpt there for you guys. Let me take it out. What the hell, right? Take it out. See, it is the head sculpt. A lot of people complaining about it online. I can't really see why. This is a, this is a really decent head sculpt, guys. I actually like it. I actually really like it compared to what I saw in the pictures. I wasn't too thrilled, but uh, you know, that I'm looking at this thing here. This isn't too bad. The back of the head, where I guess you access the purrs, is kind of. It's actually pretty noticeable, but. You know, most of them are. But yeah, here's the head sculpt, guys. I want to give you guys just a shot of the head sculpt so you know what, what you're what you're dealing with here, what you're going to be getting if you uh, order this figure. Let me know what you guys think. I know everyone was really thrilled about the first, you know, T-800. But, um, you know, this is just an updated sculpt. This is their, their next take on it. You know, that's how I look at it. So, uh, yeah, that's the... That sculpt right there, guys. I'm trying to get the best shot I can on my iPhone here, so. But uh, yeah, let's put that back in there. So it looks like you get. Let's see what's in here. Looks like you get like a microchip, I guess, and some type of um, pliers or something like that to. Uh, Put that in and out of his head, I guess. So you get that. Let's see what else we got here. Sorry about this light. Ugh. Yeah. Let's see if we can get some natural light in here. Not too much today in my area. It's crappy weather. Okay, so we got the uh, instructions uh, for all you noobs that don't know how to work at Hot Toys figure. You can read those. And uh, let's see what else we have in here. It looks like some accessories. A ton of accessories, actually. It's going to be really hard to do. One hand. Kind of becoming a pro at it, guys, so give me a second here. Hold on, I'm actually going to put the phone down once.
Hey guys, sorry about that. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Looks like we have some gloved hands. Uh, fists. Looks like uh, some hands for gripping, and then just some regular ungloved hands here. And looks like we got the bullets for the minigun. And we actually have the minigun itself. Which actually has some really nice weathering on it. Actually looks pretty nice. So we have that, guys. Then we have this, which actually is actually a pretty detailed uh, duffel bag, carrying bag. It's really cool. Uh, grenade launcher. I'm sure this thing collapses, uh, so I'm not going to do that. I can't do that with one hand. And then it looks like we have the grenade belt. Shotgun. Show the shotgun. Here. It's pretty nice. And then we have his pistol. And we got the base. I believe the base lights up. Probably gonna put some batteries in it. Yeah, I gotta put batteries in it. That's a pretty nice base. Pretty cool. That's basically what you get, guys. Um, I'll show you one more, one more shot of that uh, head sculpt, just so you know. Yeah, so you guys can uh, maybe change your opinions on what you think of the figure. A lot of hate on Facebook, man. Oh, on One Six Republic, man. Ton of hate on this figure, but I'm stoked on it. It's gonna go well in my collection. So. Let's see. By the way, this leather outfit feels great, man. Feels really nice, so I'm stoked on that. But yeah, here's the head sculpt one more time, guys. So anyway, yeah, the last couple figures I ordered, guys, um, have been DXs and. Uh, I'm pretty much kind of winding down right now. I mean, I don't really have anything else out I want, you know, or need at the moment. So, I mean, this is probably the last figure I'm going to get for a little while until some other stuff comes out that sparks my interest. But, uh, basically, this is my review video for this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put out another review just showing you guys what my collection looks like so far. And then you could, you know, leave your comments or whatever you want to do. But, uh, yeah. Pretty much that's what I have here guys, so um, after I get this set up, you, you'll see how it looks in my collection with the rest of the stuff, so uh, leave me your comments, let me know what you think guys, peace.